What's going on guys? I got a collection update for you here. We're still powering through everything that I've picked up during this whole COVID world since pretty much March. Yeah, I still got it pretty much a crate of stuff and still picking up stuff every now and then. My hair is looking crazy. Um, but first, I want to thank everyone recently for the jump in subscribers as well as I want to thank everyone who's been interacting with me lately on the YouTubes. It's been real nice, you know. Um, Rick over Dreadful Minutes, uh, Death Like Reviews, Matt Dark Path, Jason, get into it. Uh, ben, Brain Smasher, all, everybody, um, everybody's awesome, uh, Todd, you too, so I got a good stack of stuff, I don't know how long it's going to last, I got 7 inches, I got LPs, and let's just kind of jump right in, so no specific order here, uh, but first we have, this is Buried Alive, I should probably take that out so we don't get glare, too much glare, so Buried Alive with Death Will Find You, um, super pumped for this. You know, I'm a huge Scott Vogel fan. Terror is one of those. They were a hardcore band that I loved before I really considered myself a hardcore fan many years ago. And, you know, when I did the Terror Scott Vogel deep dive and fi found out about his, you know, stuff with uh, Buried Alive and Despair and all that good stuff, you know, when this got announced, I was really excited. And the two songs, uh, you know, the two new tracks, because I want to say the last two, those aren't new. Um, but I may be wrong, but I know that the first, the two tracks, I Killing Eye and then uh, Death Will Find You, songs are great, Death Will Find You, super nasty breakdown in it, pretty much what you'd expect from Scott Vogel hardcore nowadays, but um, this was put out through Bridge 9, my variant that I got is the, uh, it looks kind of, it's gray, it's not clear, got the Fighting Irish on that label there. So, yeah, you could still pick this up. This didn't sell out. Um, maybe maybe this variant did, but there was other colors. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Just super happy to have it. Um, anything Scott Vogel is related to, I will pick up and buy. So, next. Got, let's see, is this all one Discog order? Yeah, so I, I ended up doing one Discog order. So, you know, for a long time when I would buy stuff off Discogs, I would just buy the one item that I wanted and then that was it. I wouldn't buy anything else. But I decided that I was going to check and see what the seller's other stuff had. And he ended up having quite a bit of stuff that I wanted. So I ended up grabbing four 7 inches from him. Now, the original reason for ordering from the seller was because of this bad boy here. And I'll go ahead and take this out. That way we don't have no glare. Uh, this is Kicking Your Face, Robert Brigade. Um, Travis showed this off, and I know Jason showed this off. And I went and listened to it, and it was, it was great. Super, super awesome. You know, it's hardcore, but it's super punk influence. It's fast. It's got that, like, um, I, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's, uh, it's something that you kind of, I, I notice a lot that's in more not super moshy, breakdown hardcore but in the more like punk influence hardcore where it has that like riff where it's like dun, 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 you know that kind of thing and it, it's awesome this even comes with a really sick poster um there's this version which is on which has a black cover and then there's one that's like with red is that a little gnat flying around um and i didn't care which version i got but I've been waiting for that to show up for a good price on Discogs, and it finally did. This poster is pretty awesome, too. Check that out. So, yeah, this would be a cool one to frame in the future. Um, but, yeah, if you haven't listened to Robert Brigade, I highly recommend it. It's awesome stuff. It even comes with here. Which, I don't know if this was included in every one. But this has a set list. It's just on like little graph paper. Which I thought this was awesome. I've never, you know, I've, I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is someone that went to a, sh a like a show and picked this up and included this or what, but uh, really, really sick. Um, and the reason being is because I, for those who don't know, I love, like, when I go to concerts, I try and grab, you know, guitar picks, drumsticks set list, all that kind of good stuff. 
you know, I, I have a little collection for all that stuff, and I have a r good amount of set list. So, yeah, Rob Brig Brigade, awesome stuff, kick in your face. Check that out. Really, really awesome. Some of, some of my favorite stuff that I've discovered on the hardcore and the punk realm this year. I'm going to re-sleeve on camera. I don't, I don't care. Because if not, my it will bother the hell out of me. Next up, let's talk about this. So this is uh, Southern Lord. This is, like, what is it? Tour, tour 2012. Um, this is in a real... You can hear that. It's in a, a double... It's a double 7-inch. One in each. They're just black. It's real, like, hard card stock. And this is basically just kind of a like a comp of some Southern Lord bands. So I mainly bought this because, you know, with uh, Riley's Passive from Power Trip, I, I wanted to start just, you know, completing the Power Trip collection and just grabbing, start piecing out everything that I do need from them. And when it comes to that for a lot of bands, as if they were part of any weird comps or splits or anything like that, I, I need those. And... This is one, and I wanted to check this out because the only other band that I had heard of that was on this comp is Enabler and Poison Idea. And I hadn't listened to any of those bands either, so really I was coming into this just knowing the Power Trip track. But you get two Poison Idea tracks. You get Think Twice and Think Fast, which were top-notch. You get Record, or uh, Burning Love, Lives of the Saints, which that song was cool. Um, the Secret, which is which their song is Agnes D, I believe it's pronounced. That track was pretty cool as well. Mar Martyr Dodd, Daycop, Dig Free, I think that's how you pronounce that. I didn't, I didn't really care for that. Enabler, Funeral Dirge, good stuff. And then, of course, the side B on record two is the, the Power Trip track, because it's like a seven-minute long song, six-minute long song, ha hammered out. But I think, I want to say it was the Burning Love song. That one had, like, these really... Um, or not, bur I'm man. I should have wrote down notes. I'm thinking about the next. I'm guess I'm excited to talk about the next record I'm gonna talk about. But um, yeah, it was pretty good stuff. Like I said, I mainly got this for the power trip. But I am curious to go now listen to more Poison Idea and more Enabler. Those were the two uh, bright spots on here for me. Um, you can grab this ch pretty cheap. It's not anything that is uh, super expensive. Like I said, they're just on black vinyl, so there's no uh, inner sheet or nothing like that. You just get cool artwork on the inside, the gatefold. Um, this one doesn't. This one's so thick and slightly taller that it doesn't have. It won't fit in a seven-inch sleeve, so it, it bothers the fuck out of me. I need to get like a bigger little bag kind of gimmick. So we got those. Set these down. I don't want them to fall. The next one, which I was super pumped to talk about, uh, which I didn't even know existed. Uh, this is Reproach, eight modern hardcore bands cover Negative Approach. So my experience with Negative Approach is, is I actually saw these guys live play with uh, Power Trip, High on Fire, um, who else? I think Devil Master was a part of that show, and Negative Approach was uh, like the third band on the bill. And they were, they were really good, but I feel like they didn't do enough that made me say, like, hey, I know these guys are, are legends in the scene. Let me go listen to more. For some reason, I just didn't really feel that with them. And... I saw this and I was curious and you know eight modern hardcore bands I think it was released in like 97 98 so I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot of the hardcore that I'm more familiar with a lot of that you know kind of moshy uh, breakdown hardcore but it totally wasn't you know this has drop dead on there which I know Jason always talks about it has spaz who I've heard of which is talked about a lot but then a quite a few bands I didn't know the only one I was familiar with was chokehold which I, I'm a fan of chokehold and, you know, there's a band called Rupture on here, Union of Uranus, Voorhees, Cops for Christ. The one that was super interesting, and it's the one I was thinking about with that Southern Lord, is Man is the Bastard. The vocals on that are weird, man. It's, it, it's, it's on, almost, like a, almost like a death metal vocal, a part of that. It wasn't, it wasn't like your tough guy, moshy hardcore vocal. It wasn't super fast, spit at you, punk vocals. It was this weird, like, almost on the rain, almost a guttural, but not quite. And it, I, I want to say the song was even, like, slowed down a little. It was kind of, 
it's weird, man. I, I need to go listen to more from that band because that vocalist, if, if all their stuff is like that, I'm, I'm interested. It just, it really stood out to me. Uh, being that I'm a fan of Chokehold, the Chokehold track is my favorite on here. Uh, put out through Ugly Pop. This was, I don't know if they put out anything else, but this was release number one for them. And it does come with a inner sheet here. Oh, holding it upside down. So very cool. I always like this stuff when you look at old hardcore stuff where it's like mail to address on jacket and they have like the emails and they just talk about like other seven inches and stuff that are coming soon. I always think that's really cool. Um, now if I can get this dang thing back in there. But yeah, so very happy to have this. Again, I'm, I need to start looking at Seller's other stuff because this is something I, I totally would have never knew existed. Um, I enjoy covers a lot. I enjoy when bands pay tribute to another band. I know Rick um, from Dreadful Minutes recently talked about a, a Celtic Frost one, and I'm interested to pick that up. Uh, the bands he talked about on there are bands that I do enjoy. So... Yeah, I'm down for all that stuff. You know, I recently picked up, it was a tribute to Sick of It All, that that had my, you know, moshy hardcore taste on there. There's like Hay Breed and I like Most Precious Blood and stuff like that. Next up, we have Integrity with Seventh Revelation. Um, this is just a one song, and I think the second, the B-side was etched. Um, this is like when they got back together. It was like original lineup from 94, 92, 93, somewhere around there. And I've seen Integrity live. I got to see them at South by Southwest uh, two and a half years ago, 2018. And they, they were put on an awesome show, man. Um, they're kind of one of those bands that a lot of people had talked about back when I was getting into hardcore. So I was interested and I wanted to check them out. And I was already going to that show for I, I Hate God and Gate Creeper. So I definitely stuck around for Integrity and it ruled. It's on an orange vinyl. You can see the etching a little bit there my family is coming back home so I'm gonna need to close my door here so we can talk about these LPs or either I'll do two separate videos and just combine them but yeah that's all for the seven inches so this was one order integrity reproach southern lord tour and Robert raw brigade so yeah shout out to discogs and then the buried alive was through uh, bridge nine so I think I'm going to cut it here and then we're just going to edit this bad boy together. LPs coming up right now. Alright, so now continuing with the LPs. Let's start out with this since we finished off with integrity for the 7 inches. We got the split and you can see the integrity logo on the back there. This is a split with Krieg. Now, you know, going into this again mainly got it initially for the integrity side however you know Krieg's one of those bands that you know you, you hear people on the YouTubes talk about people talk about them a lot there's a great US black metal band didn't know anything about them but I will tell you this that after listening to the split oh yeah man so so good um, I'll be checking out Krieg a whole bunch because they sold me on their couple songs on this split it's an inner sheet. But what's real cool about this as well is it has this beautiful poster. Look at that. It's awesome. But yeah, it's fantastic. Um, you got the big, uh, what is it, the big cover there from Integrity Sons of Satan on there. Um, it's fantastic stuff, man. You can get this for a super, super good price. I highly recommend it. You get like four tracks from Integrity. I think you get three from Creed. And it's it's awesome. So well done. So, so well done. All right. Yeah. Still re-sleeving. We received sleeve that Buried Alive. We're re-sleeving this bad boy too. Let's continue on. Next up. Been in a... I, I don't know if it's just with October hitting been in a pretty big death doom mood lately and had to pick up this uh, this is the three song single for the thrash and naked limbs for my dying bride which arguably is the best death doom song of all time 
Um, I posted this recently on Instagram and I grabbed this along with a couple other things I'm going to show here from again one seller on Discogs and it's it's so good man so so good you know and the funny thing is with My Dying Bride is like they're, they're a band that I had tried to get into around 2015 ish I think they even had just came out with a record around that time and I was like oh let's try this and I hate I was not a fan of it which is kind of interesting because I you know at that time I think I was already listening to like the plague with them from Paradise Lost and stuff but I just I couldn't do My Dying Bride I don't know what it was but now awesome love that new My Dying Bride that released this year too it's sick and yeah this was, was great and it's just available exit out of that notification there uh, it's just on black black vinyl uh, Peaceville uh, this is a reissue of course uh, I think this came out in like 2017 ish I want to say but yeah I need to pick up the full length that that's on because it's so good it's so good I stream it pretty frequently on Spotify but love it man but it just also goes to show how your taste change you know listen to My Dying Bride 2015 and was like nope not into it checked out My Dying Bride again probably about three or three years later so 2018 ish and I was like yeah My Dying Bride is good <laughs> next let's con let's continue to show stuff from that seller um, so this was an upgrade for me I already have this on CD so I now have the vinyl and getting rid of the CD origin with unparalleled universe and this album's awesome I remember when it came out really really enjoying it um, and it was great to go back and and listen to it again now that I have the, the LP of it and it's a fantastic album I'm a big fan of origin I think that they do probably because they come from you know their first record was like 2000 2002 you know they do technical death metal right a lot of these newer bands they're just too noodly they they really try and show off their technical ability too much that you kind of they kind of lose focus on the other parts that make up the song but you know just good songwriting the you know vocals the actual riffs it's just too technical but origin on the other hand you know they pretty much combine your just traditional death metal with the technical death metal and you get all those different kind of variations of the of the vocals too where you get kind of of a more standard death mo death metal style vocal then it goes into you know you get a couple of maybe like little pig squeals here and there and then sometimes you get that just super nasty deep guttural awesome stuff really really love this record um, also that Brujedia cover is great as well they really do a good job on it this version here came on white vinyl so yeah, pumped to have this. I getting this. I went back on a Origin deep dive because I had three of the records on CD and went back and listened to Entity, which was my first Origin album I had ever heard. Um, went back and listened to. There was one other release. Oof, this thing is not wanting to go in there, right? But went back, listened to one other release as well, and then um, just had a had a, a origin day it was actually pretty cool because i had to do a pickup of something at best buy and uh i was listening to origin while i went to do my pickup and the guy comes up to my car and he says hey what band is that and i was like oh this is band origin he goes origin i'm gonna check that out so here we are spreading the good word technical death metal um oh i'll show the inside of the gatefold you got lyrics so yeah awesome awesome stuff put out their nuclear blast the best label known to man and the very last thing that I grabbed from that one order so yeah I picked up those the my dying bride the origin and then this guy oh yeah Baphomet the dead shall inherit now I'm not gonna hold you up and be like yeah I've been listening to this since I was two years old you know death metal all the way um, you know this is one of those death metal bands that really passed me by you know being that early 90s death metal is what got me into 
death metal and the stuff that I first heard and gravitated towards from the likes of your obituary, Cannibal Corpse, Death, you know, Suffocation, uh, then later on with Dying Fetus and all that stuff. There's a lot of those early bands that, you know, I didn't get into till later, whether it was I didn't find out about it till later or, you know, I, I was comfortable having my, like, ten classics. But this thing totally blew me away. You know, Matt um, talked about this. I think one other person had talked about this as well. And I decided, you know what, I, I got to go check this out. I got to listen to it for myself. And I did... It, it's up there with all those other albums. It's up there, you know. Granted, it's you know my probably two favorite old school death metal records, which is, um, which is Cause of Death, Obituary, and uh, Effigy of the Forgotten Suffocation. You know, it doesn't hold it to those two, but pretty much everything else around that time, this is it. You know, I I don't know what happened, why these guys didn't get huge. I don't know if they didn't have the marketing behind them or, or what it was, but they should have been because this record is awesome. So that inner sheet. Those guys, Morbid Angel Shirts, Napalm Death, Bolt Thrower, Paradise Lost. I love that Paradise Lost shirt. I'd love to have that. Got lyrics. It's just on black vinyl. Um, this was through Peaceville as well. Um, 20, like 17 reissue. But man, it is... It's great. Most of you all probably know this already, but for some reason you didn't know it like myself, go check it out because it is amazing, man. So, so good. Um, Leave the Flesh, that song is in my hardest top 50 death metal songs of all time. It's so freaking good, man. So, so good. I need to look at more material. Um, if anybody knows if they have any other albums that are on par with this bad boy, let me know. Because I am interested to check out more Baphomet. Last two. What everybody's been talking about. And Matt, this album is not boring. Necrot, Mortal. You know, ne Necrot's a band that I ended up checking out. I ended up finding out about them. They were on the... Which one was it? Yeah, they end up they opened for the uh, Cannibal Corpse, uh, Morbid Angel, Blood Incantation tour. Was unfamiliar with them, and they killed it. They were awesome, S super super great live. And from that moment on, I was like, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm gonna check out everything they do. And then Mortal got announced, put out through Taint Crimes. Awesome label. Also love the gold foil print on that. But um, you know, this got announced. The singles were super strong. Fantastic singles. And the album doesn't disappoint either. This is just on this very nice purple LP. And I'll show you the gatefold, which is awesome as well. Got lyrics. And so, this, essentially, you know, neck rot. I, I feel like maybe there's some people that just don't enjoy neck rot and a lot of these modern bands because they're taking the early 90s style and they're basically saying hey we're influenced by that we're going to do that we're just going to change a couple things to make it our own and voila you have an album that doesn't mean it's bad man if you have solid just fantastic straightforward death metal i'm gonna listen to it i'm gonna jam it it's good stuff you know, I like uh, Blood Offerings and Necrot album before this. It's great stuff, too. Very happy with Mortal. Now, I will say, though, and maybe you shouldn't necessarily compare albums, but as good as this album is, there's an album that came out right around the same time that is better than Mortal. I'm going to show that to you right now. I'm not even going to re-sleeve that Necrot record. Because this guy, this is gonna so far this is my death metal album of the year oh baby <laughs> this is skeletal remains with the entombment of chaos this thing as much as i really enjoy that necrot album this thing blows the necrot album out of the water you know again these were guy, guys that i was not aware of i saw them open they opened on the hate breed tour that was hate breed obituary 
prong agnostic front and then skeletal remains and since then i saw them they also played that uh the tour i saw them on like the they took two tours and they combined it in one so it was conjure skeletal remains take offense sick of it all revocation voivod napalm death municipal wa municipal municipal waste that's actually the one year anniversary to that show today and you know i saw them then and they were great too and you know i felt like when i heard them live i was like oh these guys are great they're kind of reminded me of Necrot and it's you know straightforward death metal they're influenced by all that 90s stuff and it was awesome and I would you know from then on I was like oh, I'll check out their stuff but this album I feel really sets them apart and I feel like they really decided to come you know full on balls to the wall and do something where they took they took the straightforward style that they do and they made it they added it they made it just catchier they had just such memorable riffs hard riffs they have a track which is in one of the singles that have what you know I call the climbing riff like if a band does the climbing riff just right why it's you'll never forget it and it's so good this is on 180 gram black vinyl I got this in a bundle with a patch I think it's a patch, a poster, and uh, this will not go in there. A patch, a poster, and a long sleeve um, straight from their band camp. So, yeah, if for some reason you haven't listened to the Skeletal Remains, check this out. This is, this is the premier death metal record of the year, I'm telling you people now. And Skeletal, Mar Skeletal Remains will be a band that when shows do occur again, we'll get some big tours. I would love to see these guys do like a co-headline tour with Blood Incantation. I think that'd be really cool, but we'll see. Um, so that's going to be it for me. If you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, hit the, hit the little bell, hit the gimmick bell. That way you know when your boy uploads. But that's it. Peace out.